Hey, let me ask you something. What is the difference between mass and weight? I know. The first time you hear this question, you feel like, kya hi pooch rahe yaar? What kind of silly question is this? Mass is mass. It's the total quantity of matter. Weight is weight. It's the force. But let me tell you from where this confusion starts. What if somebody asks you, what's your weight? What do you answer? 40 kg. 30 kg. 50 kg. You answer in kgs, right? Yes. If you also have this confusion, what do weighing machines measure? What do they tell you? Is it mass? Is it weight? Welcome to this short under 10 minute session we call as the Concept Bites. In today's session, I'll tell you the exact difference between mass and weight. What do the weighing machines tell you? What is it? I'll tell you that. And apart from that, we'll discuss everything about weight. How the weight varies at different, different positions, if you go inside the earth, if you go to different planets, if you go to the moon, right? We'll solve some questions. Nice, short, crisp and clear. That's what we call as Concept Bites. Welcome. If you know what we do, press the like button because this video is going to be awesome. All right, let's start. So, if somebody asks you, do mass and weight refer to the same thing? So, let's say this person, he's saying, now I'm fit, my weight is showing 70 kg. She says, 70 is not your weight here, it's your mass. So, why do we always answer in kgs? Huh? Let me tell you, exact difference between mass and weight. See, we all know this, mass is the total quantity of matter. Right? How much of matter? What is matter? Kitni cheese hai? Molecules, atoms, whatever it is. Jo bhi cheese hai. What is it made up of? Total quantity of matter is called as the mass. Alright? What is weight? Weight is the force of attraction. Right? It is the force of attraction between Earth and the body. At least on Earth we are talking about this. Or the planet could be, right? Between any planet or any heavenly body and the mass. We or cheese agar. So, aap pe. Earth kitna force laga hai? That is your weight, right? And what is your mass? It is the total quantity of matter in you, correct? So, and the mass, it does not depend on G. Mass to mass hai. Total quantity of matter. Usko kya matlab hai G se, hai na? Usko kya matlab hai force se? So, it does not depend on G. Which means, it does not depend on acceleration due to gravity. But weight depends on G. Why? Weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity. This formula is not different. It is F equals MA only. Humne kya bola? Weight is the force. Force kya hota hai? Force equals mass into its acceleration. On earth, we call the force as weight. We call as acceleration, gravitational acceleration to gravity. Hai na? Kya bolte hum? A ko G bolte na? So W equals MG. That's how this formula came. Kuch alag thodi hai. Same formula, right? So it depends on G. Mass is in kgs, right? Its SI unit is kgs, but weight being force has the SI unit of force, which is Newton. It always remains constant. Mass does not change by, you know? Mass does not change until unless you start moving at the speed of light. It varies from place to place, right? Weight varies from place to place. And yes, it does. It can never be zero. Mass cannot be zero. It can be zero at the center of the earth. What? Yes, I'll tell you. And why this misconception comes, I'll tell you that. So now, let's do this first question. Rohini weighs 600 Newton at a point near the equator. If she measures her weight at the North Pole, her weight will... Come on, we have done this. We have done this. If she measures her weight at North Pole, her weight will, compared to 600 Newton, which is measured at equator, will... All right. Yes, there go. W equals M into G, right? Now, the value of G is an average value of 9.8. But we have learned this, that on the equator, the distance of the body from the center is more. Why? Because the radius of Earth at equator is more. Earth is not a perfect circle. It's a geoid shape, right? So at the equator, the radius is more compared to the poles. Now, what is G? G equals G M upon R square. If this radius is more, G will be less. So at equator, the value of acceleration due to gravity is less. Means the weight is going to be less. At the poles, the value of G is going to be more. That is acceleration due to gravity is going to be more. It is about 9.83. Means your weight will be more. If you want to lose weight and you live near poles, come to equator. Your weight will be, you know, less. All right. Okay. So weight is m into g and g is g over r square which means at the equator the value of g is less polar radius is less than equatorial radius so her weight 
will be more if she goes to the pole. Why? Because value of g is more at the poles, right? So her weight will increase. Mass into g at poles is going to be more than mass into g at equator. Okay, fine. Now, let me come back to the initial question. If mass is different and weight is different, then what is it that the weighing machines measure? Weighing machines, they measure your weight only. They measure your weight only, yes. But, what else? They tell you the value of the mass by doing internal calculation. By if Think about it. M into G, if somebody measures, and you divide it with G, what it becomes? It becomes mass, right? So, they answer it like mass, but they actually measure mass into G, right? Mg. If I go to class 11, I would probably end up saying they measure the normal force, but right now I'm just telling you, ki bhai, they measure your weight only. Hai na? They measure your weight, but they divide it with the value of G to give you their mass. So they are answering in terms of mass, but they are measuring weight, right? Clear? Fine? Okay. Chalo, aage chalo. A weight of 100 Newton is attached to the end of two spring balances, A and B. The spring balance A is attached to ceiling and B is allowed to fall freely. Find the readings of A and B respectively. B is in free fall and A is hanging nicely. Spring balances can tell you what is the force, right? If you hang a hundred Newton, if you know the answer, come on, think about it. Pause the video, think about it and then cross check. Huh? Weight of hundred Newton attached to the end of two spring balances. By A is at rest. We all know if I take a spring balance, I keep it at rest and hang a mass, it will read the weight of the mass, right? So A should be hundred Newton. We all know that. What about B? What do you think? will B measure. B is freely falling. Have you noticed, whenever you fall freely, we say it is weightlessness. Hai na? Correct? You feel weightlessness when you fall. Right? Correct? So, with the same logic, you can say, when a body is freely falling, its weights become zero. Its weight becomes zero. Means, the force becomes zero. Means, the spring balance will read zero. You can try it. You can try this one. It's very easy. You can take a bottle. You can, uh, or you can say take a glass. Uh, uh, which glass would you say? Take a plastic glass. Take a plastic glass and put a ball inside it and you drop it. You will see the ball will remain at its position. Okay, fine. So, it will be 100 Newton and zero. So, when a body falls, it experiences weightlessness. If a body falls freely, means with the acceleration due to gravity, the weight becomes zero. Correct? Fine. So it is 100 and 0 Newton. Now, let me ask you, what is the weight at the center of Earth? Sir, you told zero. Uh, 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 but let me tell you, people don't believe that. A lot of people have this confusion. Why? Listen, weight equals m into g, means m into g m by r, square, right? m into g m by r square, correct? Ab dhyan se dekho. If radius at equator is more, the value of g is less. If the radius at pole is less, the value of g is more. Agreed? By pole pe radius kam hota hai, tabhi to g ki value zaza aati hai. What is g? Acceleration due to gravity, hai na? Agar, if we take the body inside the earth, means the value of g will be even lesser. Does it mean the weight will be even more? Which means if I take the body to the center, means radius is zero, weight would be infinite. Is it? No. First of all, why was this force occurring? Because the mass was pulling, hai na? because of the force of gravitation only. Ab dhyan se dekho. Center pata kya hota hai? When you are at the center, imagine you are at the center and from all the directions, people are pulling you with the rope. Okay? Imagine this scenario. Ki bhai, you are standing at the center and from every direction, you are being pulled by a rope. Okay? You are being pulled in each and every direction by a rope. What is the net force on you? Think about it. Come on. What is the net force on you? Zero. Why? Because you are being pulled from every direction, na? Hai na? Correct? So what is happening when you are at the center of the earth? The mass of the earth around this body is pulling this body in all the directions. In all the directions it is being pulled. So net force becomes zero. If force becomes zero, 
weight becomes zero. So that is why we always think that we feel maximum weight at the center of earth, but it's a misconception. Actual may weight at the center of earth is zero. Clear? It's a very important, very basic question, but very commonly occurring question in exams. Okay? A weight on the moon ki baat karte hai. Acceleration to gravity of the moon. I gave you this homework in the previous video, if you remember. I think you might have solved it, right? So, the gravity, the acceleration due to gravity on moon is g by 6. Means the weight will be weight of the earth divided by 6. Correct? If g is 1 by 6, weight will also be 1 by 6. Na? So, we can say that the moon pe gravity ki force 6 times weaker. Hai, right? So, g dash is the acceleration to gravity on the moon and g is the acceleration to gravity of earth. So, acceleration due to gravity on the moon, gm is equal to 1.6 meter per second square. Do you, re you have to remember the value? No. But 1 by 6 is something I want you to remember. Okay? Moon pe 1 6 ho jata hai. So, let's do a very quick question. The maximum mass that Rahul can lift on the earth is 30 kg. What will be the maximum mass that he can lift on the moon? Rahul mein itni hi jaan hai ke earth pe wo 30 kg ka mass utha sakta hai. Right? Agar moon pe jayega and he apply the same jaan, the same force, how much mass can he lift? That is the question. Huh? If you know the answer or if you can solve this question, pause it and solve it. Otherwise, cross check. Theke? Listen to me. I told you. Rahul has the same amount of force he can apply. So on earth, how much force is he applying? On earth, he is applying force which is the weight of the body. W is equal to 30 into G of earth. Right? Okay. When he goes to moon, he can apply the same force. Huh? Okay. So he is applying force which is 30 into G E. And it will be equal to how much mass he can lift multiplied by the acceleration to gravity on the moon. What have I done? I have equated the force. The force he can apply on earth is equal to the force he can apply on moon. Right? Correct? Now we have to that there is force it is equal to how much mass. Correct? Or you can say the force he is applying is equal to how much of the weight. Weight kya hota hai? M into G. So, 30 into G is equal to M into G M. So I can say 30 into G E is equal to M into G E by 6. Why? Because G of moon is equal to 1 by 6th of G of earth. So G E say G E cancel. Mass will be 30 into 6 is equal to 180 kgs. So on moon, he can lift 180 kgs. It is simple thana bhai. Moon pe agar body halki lagegi kitna sir 1 by 6 time to aap 6 times zyada mass wali body utha sakte ho if imagine imagine right if on earth the gravity is more means you can lift a small mass but you have that much force right and that much force will be equal to a greater mass on moon the moon's gravity is 1 sixth means you can lift any mass which is six times heavier on the moon. Hai na? Take it. Fine. Clear. So that's why 180 kgs becomes the correct answer. Alright. A, a small homework question for all of you. Amit buys few grams of gold at the poles as per the instruction of one of his friends. He hands over the same when he meets him at the equator. Will the friend agree with the height of gold bot? Sorry, weight of the gold bot? If not, why? It's, the, it's your NCRT question by the way. Come on. If you know the answer, Tell me in the comment section. Otherwise, others will pakka give you the answer. All right, everybody. With this, I want all of you to try this question. Tell me in the comment section. And I hope you like this short, crisp, and clear way of learning we call as the concept bites. We'll do live questions. We'll do practice questions a lot. But this is a time-saving way. I want all of you to study like this. If you think this works for you, like this session. And share it with your friends because this is what we are doing for you guys, right? Share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Don't forget. And see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.